you said that you see the slowing economy as an opportunity, could you give me some examples? Sure. Um, let's say the, the, the overall consumer market, right? In the US and, and, and in Europe, uh, particularly let's say the, the high-end luxury brands in, 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 in Europe, uh, they're growing at much slower rates. So in order for the overall company to grow, they have to find new markets for, uh, for, for consumers. And China being the principal one because it's such, a, it's such a big consumer market. But that applies to almost anything along the value chain. That's the easiest one to describe. Mm -hmm. But uh, anything that its end product is a, a consumer good, high-end consumer good to the Chinese consumer, even if you're a component within that, uh, really needs to track China market growth. Mm -hmm. Uh, how has, uh, I think one other statement it, it was attributed to you, I, I'm not quite sure, but I believe they said that the goal of the company is to become a premier global investment company, but I, I'm really impressed by the range of interests you have. It's really quite wide. It seems to cover the gamut. Thank you, yeah. Everything it, from it steel is. to jewelry to... That, that's right. And so when a lot of people look at Fosun, they think of uh, the traditional Western conglomerate, which is sort of a hodgepodge of different companies in different industries. Uh, if you look at Fosun in a static sense, it might look that way, but there was a pretty uh, deliberate path that Fosun took to enter those industries. So we started in uh, pharmaceutical healthcare on the one hand and mm -hmm. uh, real estate on the other. We'll continue to own those businesses. I, I don't imagine we'll, we'll ever uh, leave them. But from there, we really invested at the early stages of whatever sectors we thought had high growth in China. So mm -hmm. that's how we entered steel and, and, and mining because that was during the infrastructure boom. And then later on, with rising consumer and middle class income, we invested in uh, retail and, and, and brands, in financial services, um, internet and media. So that's the, the way that we approach different industries is not uh, as random as it may seem. It's, it's, it's really because we think those industries, number one, are high growth areas for China, and number two, that our resources in China can really be used to add value to those businesses and accelerate their growth into the Chinese marketplace. Mm -hmm.